I think it's an ice cream van. I think so, which is just like the creepiest fucking thing. Like, and they have coolers well, too, so you can put a lot of dead bodies in there. Hey, it's Megan. And Sue. The, the Spine, Spine Breakers. Breakers. And today we're doing something we haven't done in a while. Yeah, we have had a hankering to do one of these yeah. again. It's a Battle of the Beers! Battle of the Beers! <laughs> we are doing a Battle of the Summer Beers because it's yes. July. Yeah, so we went to our local Brown Derby liquor store. We did. And we picked out as many as we could find that were like summery style beers. Mm -hmm. Um, so we do have a variety. We have a few Rattlers, a Shandy. Mm -hmm. I think there's even a an IPA in here. Yeah, there but may be. But it's called Summer Crush, so we got it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the the pickings were a little slim because I think because of COVID, they yeah. haven't had a you know as, as much. big of shipment like as yeah. big of inventory coming in. So, but we did our best. So, um, do we want to go through? Show each beer first. Or yeah. Show them as we taste them. Well, no. Let's show them as we taste them. Okay. So I feel we're like gonna be less show cumbersome. as we taste, and we're just gonna find out what's what the best summer beer is. Yeah. We're gonna battle these. They're yeah. gonna duke it out. And we have our little taster glasses. We do. <laughs> I have a shitload of these in my cabinet because <laughs> I go to beer fests a lot. All right, should we start on this end? Let's do. Let's start with All right. the... So our first contender is the Peach Beerlini Rattler from Left Hand Brewing. Yes. Which is... I like that brewing company because they have good beer, but also because I'm a lefty. So, dig it. We got our little tastes. Little tasters. Cheers. I like this. It it's not like Rattlers are often very sweet, mm -hmm. and this one is not super no, sweet. It is not. So I like that about it. Same. And it does have a nice peach flavor, but it also has a little bit of a weird flavor in there. Yeah, like you described it really well earlier. You described it as like ko pectate flavor, and I definitely I think that's <laughs> on point. Like that's yeah. yeah. It's a little like chalky weirdness. It is a little, but I still don't mind it. Like I still, I still like the beer. I do too, and I, you know, this reminds me of Weech by O'Fallon. Mm -hmm. Now, I feel like that K.O. Pectate flavor is artificial peach, because Weech by O'Fallon kind of has that oh, same yeah, yeah. aftertaste, yeah. So this one, not bad. Not right bad. Right now it's in first place, because... It's, it's the only one we've sipped on so far. All right. Next is, to be honest, this has been my favorite beer of the summer right now, so we'll see if I find a replacement. But it's the Lining Kugel's Summer Shandy, which is a very lemony. It is. Huh? You can't go wrong with Lineys. No. Like, Lineys are good. No, yeah, they're, uh, what's their Fruity Pebble beer? Oh, Fruity Sunset Wheat. Sunset Wheat is yeah. so good. That was, like, one of the first beers that wasn't, you know, Bud Light. <laughs> that <laughs> I liked to drink was Lining Kugel's Sunset Wheat because it tastes like Fruity Pebbles. It does taste like Fruity Pebbles. It's so good. Yeah, a lot of head on those. <laughs> Sorry about that. All the head. I did a bad job pouring that. <laughs> no, apparently this is the right way to pour a beer. Yeah. According to some like, YouTube you video. But then you wait for watch. fucking ever to drink it. Or, yeah. yeah. Or you, you get like a it. beer stash. <laughs> mm, lemony goodness. Yeah. That's just refreshing mm. and nice. It is just crisp mm -hmm. and delicious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. I mean, obviously it's very lemony, so if you don't like lemons, then Yeah, I mean, it's super, super Not lemony. the beer for you, but... But it is so good. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so I would put this definitely above the Peach Beer Lini. So, Summer Shandy's in first place. Yes, I would absolutely put that above Peach Beer Lini. Alright, so our next one is I think the only IPA of the bunch, Yes. but it's called Summer Crush, so we got it. And this is from a, actually a local brewery called 4x4. They just recently started canning, canning mm -hmm. and like distributing their beer. Um, so you probably can't find it outside of Springfield. Yeah, but if you ever guess, venture maybe to someday, Yeah, maybe they'll distribute it wider. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a double dry hopped session IPA. I don't know what makes it summer or if this is seasonal. Maybe. 
crushable sesh on any form of water or any crazy summer activity you can dream of. It's probably seasonal, I, I would guess. I would think it is, too. Yeah. And any time I've been there outside of summer, I don't think... Ooh, I accidentally poured myself away more than I intended. <laughs> That's really clear, it looks like. It is. Oops, I poured you a lot, too. Oh, <laughs> it is kind of... It is it's clean. weird looking for it an IPA. Is. Yeah. Maybe that's it's what a makes weird it color. summery. It's like a lighter. It is a guys. lower ABV. It's 4.6, so it's not yeah, that which low, is, but yeah. But it's, it's very really weird clear. color. Yeah. Strange. Let's try it. it it's weird to drink after the summer shandy. Yeah. I feel like it almost doesn't have much of a flavor. It has a bitter, or just a really bitter hoppy flavor. Like, I don't think it tastes that bitter. It definitely tastes a little hoppy. I don't know, it's strange. It's a really light IPA. It is. Like it's a very light so IPA. So it is probably a good like summer yeah. IPA. I would say. So yeah, it's definitely not bad, but it's not, it's not like super enjoyable. I feel like this doesn't have like a any kind of like unique or mm -mm. enjoyable flavor. It just kind of yeah. is like a little hoppy and that's it. Yeah, it's like hoppy water, hoppy carbonated water. Yeah, yeah. kind of. So what do you think? Would you put that below the Biarini? I don't know, cause that kaopectate flavor. Yeah, it is a little weird. I don't know, it's so hard because the Biarini has that weird flavor, but mm -hmm. I also like the peach flavor overall. I do too. So like what if you went to a brewery and the only two things they had left on tap were this and peach birlini? Which one would you order? I'd probably get the birlini. Yeah, I probably would too. So that peach birlini remains in second place. Yes, and summer crushes in third. So next we have the Boulevard Brewing Company Cherry Lime Rattler. They also had like a citrus rattler, but like got ginger in this it. one just because I felt like it was a little more unique. Yeah. Yeah, because there's a lot of like citrus and ginger beers, but I haven't yeah. seen a lot of cherry lime beers. And I love cherry lime. That's like probably one of my favorite flavors. Ooh, look at that I color. love a cherry limeade from Sonic. Delicious. It's pretty tasty. And this is a really beautiful color. Yeah, it's really pretty. Just get up in there. Very nice. Very nice. Look at Lily. She looks like, paint me like one of your French girls. <laughs> oh, whoa. Well. And she's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Jerked her leg up. Very Here's nice. my snooch. <laughs> <laughs> smells sour. Sorry, I didn't cheers you. It's okay. Oh, it does have a little oh. bit of a sour bite, but that is fucking tasty. Oh, it tastes like real cherries. I of. like that. And yeah. that lime comes in smooth Ooh. in that. Oh. The, it's cherry at first, and I feel like that lime comes in smooth at the end and just kind of scoops it up. That is nice. I oh, think it'd be nice. really nice if it was colder. We just bought these yeah. not that long ago, yeah. so these are like sort of cold, but not really. But yeah, this is a really nice flavor. This is good. It's like real cherries. It is, yeah. It is, and it like it, it's like lime, like real lime juice too. Like just yeah. like sprinkled. That's really good. Man. Do you, would you put that above the summer shandy? Oh, man, I don't know, because the summer shandy's been a contender. I feel like the summer shandy is more, is, is something that I would like drink more cas of. more casually and, mm -hmm. and want to drink a lot of. This I feel <laughs> and like might make my tummy hurt if I drink yeah. too many of them. But the f I like the, f so I like the flavor of this maybe a little bit better than the summer shandy. But I like and as a summer beer. I think yeah. it's a little heavy, maybe. Yeah, like if I'm if I'm looking at like what beer do I want to drink if I'm like sitting outside in 90 degree weather, yeah. it's or gonna like be summer shandy. Floating on the river. Yeah. So I would say this is number two though. Two. Like right yeah. after. For sure. I definitely like it for better sure than better than the other two. Yeah. So that one's in second place. All right. Do you want to do the final four? Sure. So the next one is Fruit Fight or Flamingo Fruit Fight from Bell's. Um, it's a tar oh, it's a tart ale oh. brewed with oh, no. passion fruit and lime. All I saw at the at the beer store was passion fruit and lime. I did yeah. not see the tart. So I'm not a big fan of passion fruit either, so I feel like I'm probably not gonna like this beer. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I like the flamingo aspect though. And Bell's is pretty good. <laughs> Bell's does good stuff. Flamingo. Flamingo. Oh. It is tart. Mm. 
I don't, it doesn't, well, it, the aftertaste is like a lot of tartness. The afterbite is tart. It's not oh, terribly tart though. No, at, fr at first sip it's not. Like the tartness creeps up on you and like gets you in the end. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is a case of like this just isn't the beer for me because I don't mm -hmm. like tart beers and I don't like passion fruit. So that passion fruit has like a funky... Oh, I like Gross passion flavor fruit. to me. I don't like it. So I, I don't it. like the flavor of this either. Okay. Plus, plus, I don't like the tartness. I. But it's not terrible. It's not. And I don't like the tartness, but I don't mind the flavor. But yeah, it definitely has like a very sour bite yeah. at the end. I don't know. I almost feel like I'd put it above Summer Crush. I think I would, but not above Peach Beer Lini. Yeah. Because Summer Crush is just so flavorless. It really, <laughs> it's just like, got it nothing is. going on. It I really is like, like hot flavored carbonated water. It's like mm -hmm. hot flavored um, LaCroix. Yeah, because I feel like an IPA still has like, fl like just a plain IPA should it's still have full. some flavor to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I feel like that's very like watered down, weak IPA. Yeah. All right, so the next one that, that we're shitting on our local brewery, that <laughs> we have a lot of really good local breweries here. It's just that four yeah. by four is maybe not one of our favorites, <laughs> and, they, a do bad have, and they do have better beers than that. Yeah, they sure. totally do. Like, there's <sighs> one that I had there that was really good. It was the, whatever the the it was a blend, it was yeah. like salesman in the park or something. Yeah, like that. I think so. It was really good, but yeah. So the next one we've got is another Rattler. Um, this is Stiegel. It is grapefruit Rattler. That smells really good. Sniff on that. Ooh, it does. It smells so good. And it's pretty clear. It really oh, is. It's a little murky, but it's very light color. It's super light in color. Yeah. Okay. It smells I like wish. it's gonna taste like soda. It kind of does. <laughs> I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. Yeah. That's pretty fucking tasty. It is. It's very. It's pretty sweet though. So it is. It's pretty sweet. A little bit like orange soda. Oh yeah, it does taste like <laughs> pretty much exactly like orange soda. Even though it's grapefruit flavored, right? Yeah. As much as I really hate overly sweet things, I really like this. Yeah, I feel like it's. <laughs> I feel like it's not overly sweet though. There's like a it's, tang it's to it. It's very sweet, but there's a tang compared to the rest, especially. Mm. But it's not like. It's not like give me lockjaw sweet. You no. Know? Mm -mm. But this is tasty. Yeah, like we we left out. We could have gotten the Rattler that we drank oh. in a video a few videos ago. Oh my god. It was like contact high grapefruit Rattler, but we decided just to not get it because it was like we cotton did candy not like sweet. it. It oh. was so sweet. It was it was awful. Yeah. It's way too sweet. <laughs> um I like this though. But I, I yeah, like orange soda, even though Me too. Yeah. But this is like it's not as sweet as soda. Mm-mm. And it does have more of like it's not straight up orange. It does kind of taste more like grapefruit. It does, but it's you know so especially in the aftertaste. Semi. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I really like this. It's really good. Oh, I'm wondering, do we like it better than the cherry lime? I don't know. I definitely like it better than the peach berlini. Same. But I, I feel don't like know about the cherry lime. Yeah, because I feel like mm, I think I'd put it after. The cherry so. lime. I think so. Because I think it would both hurt my tummy equally <laughs> if I had more than, you know, a few of them. But I think I like the flavor of the cherry lime better. Even, although this is really good. Like, this is a really close mm -hmm. contender. But this one, like, almost doesn't even taste like beer at all. No, it really doesn't. So this yeah. might be a good one if you're not a beer drinker, like, mm -hmm. typically. And you would like to try to get something that you can have in a can, that you can drink. Uh, maybe with your beer-loving friends. Uh, it's yeah. very tasty. And this is from Austria. Yeah, so it's an import. It could be extra fancy. Here's another grapefruit. Whitkissed White um, Grapefruit White Ale from Odell Brewing Company. It's a very pretty can. Um, I feel like grapefruit is pretty po a popular summer flavor. I feel like it is, and I think it's just because it's so crisp. It's like crisp and light and citrusy. Yeah. and I do really dig grapefruit. Is also this very is another light. very light one. Looks almost the same as the last one, I feel like. It does. <laughs> it looks very similar to the last one. It smells way different. It smells funky. Oh yeah, it does smell funky. <laughs> it smells like a it smells like a wheat beer. Yeah. Like a, well, or a white smells like a, a white, white ale. ale, yeah. yeah. It, it smells so like cute. I'm sorry. She's so adorable. <laughs> so cute. She's so cute. She's, she's such so, an asshole. She's like a chunky she's a chonky girl and she sits on her she lays on she's her tiny big for her tiny little tree and she curls too up. big for her tree and she smooshes she her little face. Her face. <laughs> Look at how cute her is. Ooh, that's got some spice to it. 
What is that? Oh, that's so weird compared to the rest of these. Yeah, this is not what I would Ooh. consider a typical summer beer. I don't like it. I like the spiciness of it, but I would not I consider it a summer beer. I don't taste spiciness. Do you know what the taste reminds me of? Hmm. This is going to be gross. I'm ready. And that's a smell that it reminds me of. It's oh. not something I've tasted. But when you kill a centipede, and it's like that weird... Sen you, does anybody know what I'm talking about? I do not. <laughs> you've, never, you've never smashed a centipede before? I have, but I, have, I don't smell anything. It smell, they smell weird. Do they? Well, yeah, like a funky smell. Huh. I'm gonna or like, kind of like if you smush an ant. They kind of have the same similar smell. I have not noticed that. Does anyone know what I'm talking <laughs> about? <laughs> oh, you know what this does remind me of? That dirty dish rag pumpkin beer. The more it's sitting in my mouth, like at first drink, I was like, oh, this is okay. The more it's sitting in my mouth, the more I'm like, what is this? Dirty dish rag. It's just a weird flavor. And I do feel like white ales, like, have that weird flavor. Yeah, but I usually like white ales. Like, I, t I do enjoy white ales. This one's just, like, strong on the funky weirdness. Yeah, the more I drink of it, the more I'm like, no. So, I'm going to say this and one is So, I wish you knew what I was talking about when I said, like... I'm going to pay attention the, the next time I kill. The way a centipede smells when you smush it. I'm going to pay attention the next time I smush one. And I'm going to try to... <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of get the oh. aroma. <laughs> I'm like... Mm. I don't like that at all. No, I'm that's going to stay at the end. The end that's yeah. at the last place. So... The last beer that we have is called Blooms and Blossoms. It's a Belgian-style wheat ale brewed with orange peel and spices. Um, and it is by Four Noses Brewing Company, which have I don't think we've had that before. Yeah, we have. Which is in Broomfield, Colorado. <laughs> have we? Four Noses? Are you sure? Yeah. I don't recall. All right. So this makes me think of Blue Moon, the way it's described. Oh, yeah. It does. No, I'm like, does it really smell funky or am I still smelling? Oh, I think I'm still smelling the funk from the other one. Hopefully I won't taste the funk. Yeah. If it tastes funky, we can rinse our glasses and out try and try again. Not really funky. No. Not great. It tastes like dirt a little bit. It tastes like trashy blue moon. Yeah, I don't like it, but I think it's better than the last one. It's better than the last one for sure. Yeah. It tastes, it just tastes like, it tastes like dirt. Like dirt. <laughs> like there's a barn on the cover, that's, like if, or on the box or the can. Like a barnyard. If you licked the barn, <laughs> that's what this beer tastes like. If you just licked that barn. All right. Do we want to do it. any like reassessing or do we think we got it? I'm pretty happy with this alignment here. I think we did good. What do you think? I think so too. Final lineup. In number one, we have the Wine and Kugel Summer Shandy. It's a contender. Number two, we have Boulevard Cherry Lime Rattler. And number three, we have Stiegel. Is that how you say that? I said Stiegel. It could be Stiegel, I guess. Uh, grapefruit Rattler. And then I won't go through every single one. But there's, there's the rest of our lineup. That you have to consider with summer beers is... Number one, how many do you want to drink? Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of summer beers that are really fruity and sweet and are like right. super carbonated. And if you're if you're like me and you drink more than a couple of those, they hurt your tummy. Right. Um, so if you only want to have one or two right. beers, those are great for the summer. But if you're like me and you want to have more than a couple beers, mm -hmm. then you got to consider drinkability. Right. Also. There it is. Our winner, Line and Kugel Boom. Summer Shandy. I guess that will remain my summer beer. It's I will so say though that like I do think the flavor of this is better. Is better. Mm -hmm. It's just like as a summer beer. Right. I think I would choose the Line and Kugels. Yeah, because like like I said, if you want to have more than a few, or more than more than a couple, then Summer Shandy is going to be really light and easy on your system. I feel like. Yeah. Uh, whereas the. The, uh, the Boulevard, I think, could upset your tum-tum after a bit. Yeah, and same with the Stiegel yeah. Rattler. Yeah, super tasty. Good flavor, Incredible. tasty, yeah. but sweet and probably not something you want to, like, mm -mm. drink when you're 
out in like 90 degree weather or something. You know? Right. It might make you a little Probably sick. you should drink water. <laughs> yeah, maybe drink water, but like, you know. I know like when I'm doing yard work, I chug water while I'm doing it, but then when I'm done, I feel like I should drink beer. Right. Oh. It just so tastes like dirt. I haven't had my last little swig yet because dirt. Yeah. Mm. God made dirt and dirt don't hurt. Oh, it hurts my tongue. <laughs> oh, all right. So yeah, that's our that's our battle of the summer beers. So battle of the you summer beers. If you want a nice summer beer, we recommend we and recommend Lime the Lime Kugel's Summer Shandy. And yeah, you can probably pretty find this get. pretty much anywhere. Yeah. Um, Boulevard's pretty widely distributed too. I think so. I think so. So yeah, Cherry Lime Rattler, Rattler. and then also any place that shot. has like imported beers probably has this the Steagle. Yeah. Um, and I mean, I like the Peach Berlini too. Left hand is widely distributed as well. So yeah, any of our top four should be pretty easy to get based, I mean, depending mm -hmm. on where you live, but yeah. would recommend. Um, if you guys have any beer battles you would like us to do. Yeah, let us know because we think suggest. these are fun, but we kind of like weren't sure what categories to do. <laughs> yeah, so I just <laughs> figured summer beers might be yeah. a good thing. So um we were gonna do what were we gonna do that we never ended up doing was winter, it winter beers winter beers that was the winter beers the christmas beers christmas maybe. beers maybe holiday beers i don't know yeah we've done pumpkin beers in the past we could redo that because i'm sure there's it. more now. i'm not drinking that dirty dish rag beer again. no i don't think they make that anymore Fuck that oh good also breckenridge not good no don't <laughs> breckenridge is not a great brewery either. no um, but yeah so if there's any battles you'd like to see us do just let us know mm -hmm. and we will take and it under if advisement. You, if there's a summer beer that you like, let us know. That wasn't in this lineup. Let us know and we'll see if we can find it. Mm -hmm. And we'll give it a taste. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks for watching. That's it for us. Battle yeah. of the Summer Beers. Boom. So yeah, we'll see you. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something. I was else. going to and then I like lost my thought. <laughs> We've had a lot of beers. We've had some beer. <laughs> Um, <laughs> bye.